Well, good morning. It is good to be able to be with you in the house of the Lord. I realize that uh, we're in a uh, Facebook service only, but uh, a broadcast, I should say. But uh, we have uh, just a handful of folks here at the sanctuary with us this morning to help uh, make this uh, video possible. I want to say welcome to Midway Baptist Church in Athens, Alabama. We're glad that you chose to be with us this morning, and we pray that the service will be a blessing to you. I want to thank these that come uh, and help uh, produce this broadcast. Uh, without them, it would be virtually impossible uh, for me to do it. I know that uh, I don't believe I'm, I'm savvy enough with this technical stuff to be able to do it uh, by myself, so thank y'all for being here and helping to uh, produce this broadcast. Uh, we are actually got our services, our public services closed due to the uh, increase in the number of uh, people who have contracted the virus. We have several of our church family that have come down with the virus, thankfully not because they were in the worship services, but because of other contact that they had. We want to be in prayer for all of those that are on our prayer list. For many that are going through difficulties, we want to remember them in prayer today. So I tell you what, let's go to the Lord in a word of prayer at this time, okay? Heavenly Father, I want to thank you this morning for this opportunity that we have to be back at this place of worship to be able to produce this broadcast. Father, I just pray that as this service goes, that you will bless it. Father, I pray that the things that we do, the things that we think, the things that we say will be those things that you would have us to convey to those that are viewing, those that are here in the sanctuary. Father, I do pray for each and every one that is viewing today, each and every one that is here today. I pray that you would bless them today. Pray as the message comes forth today that you'll speak to all of our hearts. Father, for those of us that are saved, I pray that we will just be enlightened, enriched in our Christian walk, perhaps even challenged. Father, I pray for those that may be viewing that are not Christians. May the Holy Spirit of conviction speak to their heart. I pray this to be the day that they would accept Christ as their Savior. I pray, Father, that you bless in each and everything that's to be done today and to you be glory and honor. For it's in Jesus' name that I pray and I ask it. Amen. Well, it's good that I'm able to have uh, Linda, my wife, I often say my dearest and my better half. She's going to come and sing for us. So, Linda, if you would come. Just passing through 
on a temporary stay. But I'm looking forward to the time when all of heaven it will be mine. I'll watch you pray for it. Amen. Amen. My home, my home place, I long to be. We know that place is a place called heaven. I'm so glad that uh, my name's been written in the Lamb's book of life by the precious blood of uh, the Lamb, of Jesus Christ, and that heaven will be my home. And it's not only going to be my home, but it's going to be the home of everyone that's trusted him as their Savior. Well, if you have your Bibles, and I hope that you do, I'd like for you to turn with me this morning back to the book of Luke, chapter 2. Luke, chapter 2. And I'm going to start reading at verse 1. And I'm going to share with you this morning the third message in a series of messages entitled, Wise Like Wise Men. Wise Like Wise Men. Luke, chapter 2. And I'm going to start our reading at verse 1. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. When he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to bed.